slosh it around in there. Yeah. Moth wash it. Hi, I'm Brandon. I'm Corey. And we're the Driveway Winos. You're not so average wine drinkers. Today, we have a double down red made by Dark Horse. And uh, it's just another red wine out of California. So some of the meat potatoes on the back says it has a firm tannin structure combined with notes of lush dark fruit and hints of caramel to create bold and complex wine that is sure to crush your expectations. Well, I sure hope so. I seen it was also a 15%, so, you know, the glass is gonna hurt. Thing's been a savior. Oh, their logo on the cork. That smells like red wine. <laughs> you didn't even... Oh, did you smell it? I did. I thought you drank it. No. It smells thick. <laughs> it's always like, how does it smell thick? It smells thick. <laughs> With two C's? How's the legs on this guy? Yeah. Leave some residue. A lot of viscosity. You know, it smells fancy, but... To tell the truth, it's only $9.99. What does fancy smell like? If you know, comment down below. It's like that, it smells like that port we had. The Carlos Creek one. Oh, so like the $50 bottle. $10 smells like 50. You heard it here. All right, well. That lingers. Bold flavor. Hey, it says bold. They're not wrong. They're not lying. It like, it just stays in your throat. It doesn't go away. Like you don't taste it, I don't taste it very much on your tongue. Like no. it's like, it's just, oh, I drank some juice. And then it just sticks right in the back of your throat. Yeah. That's actually a really good way to explain it. But it doesn't leave fast enough. <laughs> That's bad. You don't like, like it? In, no, like initially oh. the taste is good. Don't get me wrong. But like take a sip and just let it sit there. And it just like sits in the back in a non-good way. I feel like this is something you eat with something. Yeah, you'd have to wash it down. Yep. It's not bad though. It kind of tastes like a mix of a Chardonnay and a red. Cause yeah. It has that butter flavor to it. But... I feel if you're looking for a bottle of wine to have some fun with, definitely not your bottle. I mean, you should expect that when you're, if you pick a red wine. For like a table dinner with some, a meal, I think it'd be all right. I'm not a red wine person, so I probably wouldn't buy it. Other than that, it's not bad. There's not a bad flavor. It does there's no bad bite to it. I mean, I definitely wouldn't put it in, in the bottom of what we tasted. No, but it wouldn't be in the top. No, right in the middle of the road. I'm Brandon. I'm Corey. And we're the Driveway Winos. You're not so average wine drinkers. Please like and subscribe down below.